Welcome to Gayatri's Cook Spot. I am Gayatri Kumar and today I'll show you how to make this beautiful Winston knot bread. I saw this in a Pinterest uh, photo and I have used my eggless chala bread recipe to make this. Visit my blog gayatri'scookspot.com for more interesting recipes. The whole recipe is given in the description box below. Please check it out. Mix vinegar and milk and set aside until it curdles. To flour add sugar, salt and instant yeast and mix it well. Add the milk and vinegar mixture and water and mix it to form a slightly sticky dough. Check the ingredient uh, list in the description box below. The dough will be slightly sticky but it's okay. When you knead it for 10 minutes, you will get the correct consistency. Once all the dry ingredients are incorporated well, shift the dough to the counter and start kneading it. It takes exactly 10 minutes to knead this dough. So set a timer and knead the dough. By the end of 5 minutes, add melted butter and knead until it's incorporated. By the end of 10 minutes, you can check it for window paint test. While kneading, you need to give the pressure through your palm. It will be easier to knead the dough. To know more about the window painters, check my video for that. It's nice and soft. Add some oil to a bowl. Place the dough inside it. And slightly rotate it to coat it with the oil. Cover it with cling film and set it aside for 1 to 1 and a half hours or until the dough is double in volume. So once it is double. Take it to the counter. Look how soft the dough is. It's wonderful. I am doing two loaves out of it. So I am dividing it into two equal portions. But if you want you can do it as a single loaf. Divide each portion into six equal smaller portions. And with the help of a little flour, roll it into a log. So for one bread you get, uh, you need to roll out six logs. Keep three together. So you have two sets of. Of 
arrange them as a cross and see how I braid it. It's slightly confusing but just uh, you can watch it again and again to know how it Once all the uh, logs are overlap, just pinch it in the end and a little bit roll it inside. This is the bottom portion of the roll. Now flip it and place it in a baking tray. The knot is beautiful, right? Cover it with a towel and set aside for 20 to 30 minutes. And by the time it's proving, you preheat the oven. Once the proving is done, give a milk wash. Do this gently because you don't want to deflate the bun. Add some sesame seeds on top. And bake it until the top is nicely colored. It will be hard when it comes fresh out of oven. But once it is cool, it will soften. Look at soft now. The crust is soft. You can toast this bread and have it with butter. This is so beautiful. Right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit my blog GayatriScookspot.com for more interesting recipes. And please subscribe to my channel to receive updates. Thank you.